Hello, everyone, and welcome back to some more esports talk. Yesterday, of course, we had Ludwig announce his move from Twitch over to YouTube Gaming. That is, he is going to be exclusively streaming on YouTube at this point. This came as quite a surprise to a lot of people, even though we've seen a lot of these moves happening for bigger creators recently. We also got to see Ludwig explain just a little bit about why that decision ended up happening. I want to hop on a call with you guys because I, I respect you. I think you guys are doing cool things at YouTube. I really do think that, but. I'm going with Twitch. And they fought for me. And I realized in that moment that even though I've been with Twitch for three plus years, even though people call me the golden boy of Twitch, I've never felt like the golden boy of Twitch. I've never felt particularly loved by Twitch. I love Twitch, but it hasn't been a two-way street. It sounds so selfish, right? Like I'm making a shit ton of money. I, 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 a lot of people, I have a lot of fans. Everything's going well. But I feel like a whiny eight-year-old child who just wants some approval from a parent. And I never got that. I never got reached out to after the subathon. Not even like a, hey, you made us the most money anyone has ever made us in a month. Thanks. And none of that. They allowed me to stream way less hours a month. And... That maybe you're thinking, are you just trying to, you know, rest, invest, as they say, basically do less work and get more money. But it gives me more time to do cool shit that I'm super excited about. There's two things in there that I want to focus on. The first being one that is very familiar to us because people like Tim the Tatman and Dr. Lupo have quoted it as well, saying that YouTube has allowed him to stream way less hours in his contracts so he has way less contracted hours of being live x amount you know a month or however long it is and so he doesn't have to meet those goals the same way he does on twitch and thus that allows him to make and have so much more time to make other content we know ludwig is very interested in other content he does a lot of shows with different friends and so it makes a lot of sense for him for people like tim the tatman and lupo they're saying hey this allows me to spend more time with my family and make more permanent content on youtube in like vod format things like that that. So I think that does make sense. The point that people might be a little bit split on, however, in that clip is Ludwig saying, hey, I never got any anything from Twitch, right? And some people might see that as a good thing or a bad thing. It means they're not really treating people special, these biggest streamers. Yes, they do get special treatment, but not even Ludwig got anything special when he made them, like he said, the most money they've ever made in a month. Other streamers have also taken to stream people like Moist Critical to say, hey, Twitch just doesn't care about some streamers. But the actual people that make the important decisions don't give a fuck about like what streamers do on their platform. They don't get excited and they don't like fight for streamers. Ludwig is the number six earning streamer on all of Twitch and they weren't ready to fight for him. A lot of streamers have been talking to each other about switching platforms and a couple of them have made that decision and I think a lot of you are gonna be shocked at the next couple that are leaving. What do you think this means to the platform? Nothing. I, I think even if XQC tomorrow announced that he was the next one leaving, I don't know if he is or anything like that, but if he announced that he was leaving tomorrow, Twitch wouldn't fight for him. They wouldn't care. They'd actually probably be relieved because they probably look at them as a brand risk. They have lost, what is it, five of the top 25 streamers over the last six months? So they're not going to fight for streamers, according to Charlie there, but we don't really know the situation behind the scenes, and we don't get to be privy to those conversations, so we're not sure how negotiations really go. But I think it would make sense. To me, I feel like they must care if someone like XQC would leave. I think they fought for Nick Merckx, obviously. They want to keep that viewership. They want to keep some of their big people, but they can't do that for every single massive creator, and YouTube's going to be able to come in and slide in and offer them better deals, and if they value YouTube more than they value Twitch, then those creators are going to go there. It also seems as if this might not be the last move with many creators teasing that others are coming. He's not the last at all. Um, there are a lot of content creators that are getting poached. It's almost turning into how I would say it. It's like a football, like how like baseball players or football players or whatever constantly are going back and forth. I mean, I'm not going to say, you know anything else but i you know i know a few things like one of the reasons why i was very happy to move from twitch to youtube was because the people behind the scenes 
legitimately value my opinion. And there is a sense of huge representation and also importance. And whereas on Twitch, like they have so many people and they all have like the same contract and everything. It's kind of, you don't really... Like the fact that Ludwig felt that way and he's a massive streamer on Twitch or was now. I think this is a very divisive time in streaming and gaming history because it seems like a lot of these bigger creators who have grown for the past couple years are now making these decisions and their contracts are running out with Twitch of do I stay on Twitch or do I move over to YouTube and what is going to offer me more as a creator and as a creative platform in general. I'm not sure where many people where will end up it's very complicated to be perfectly honest with you because a lot of people will argue hey twitch has better discoverability you can have a better smaller community but does then youtube have that kind of higher cap the higher skill gap where people can just grow and grow and grow and really up the ante on their content and maybe have more time to spend with their families and make different things i'm not sure where it's going to go youtube is also lacking features this could be a whole another video to be perfectly honest with you but ludwig at this point has now moved over to youtube saying that twitch just did not care the same way that youtube did and then they took care of him so let me know what you guys think about all this and if you think anyone else is going to be moving to youtube anytime soon till next time guys i'll catch you later